Hi, DreamRJ here. Just thought I would do a tutorial, a quick one, on how to upload a Hammer Editor map to the Steam Workshop. So, first thing what we need is we need to use this program called p2map underscore publish dot exe and you will find this in the C drive program files and then scroll down to Steam Steam apps common portal two and it's in the bin folder and you can just create a shortcut and put it on your desktop if you use hammer a lot and you upload a lot of content that's what you need this file here so let's open it so when it opens you'll see that it comes up with select with maps and everything so these are the maps that I've actually made and released on into the Steam Workshop. You might recognise some of them. Uh, Scientific Bases Deep Underground, Reflective Diversity is a new one, just released just under two weeks ago. So anyway, so you, you, click, to, you click Add and it also asks for a preview image so if if you haven't made one it's best to make a custom preview image because it makes it it's good to it's good because it makes it more you know it makes it it's good just good to have a, a custom preview image so that's what i usually do i create a custom preview image so for health sake i will just have to use i just put i just use a different one so C users users desktop we want to find portal to forum bits so what we'll do is we'll just cheat and we'll I just select one of these just for a test even though I'm not uploading this map I'm just going to load another one. So, uh, if you watch the the tutorial map I made, a uh, video I made, uh, that's that's the one I'm just going to upload as a test, just to show you how to do it. So I just do tutorial map. So you put a name, a title of your map name that you want, and also this description in this uh, published uh, program. It's it's very short. I think you could only have like 200 characters in the description, so it's best just to put a, a, a quick message saying "info coming soon." Because what happens is, uh, it, you get it, obviously what you need to do then is edit that info on Steam when once it's uploaded. So it's better to do just "info info coming soon." And then what you do is you browse to the Steam, Steam apps, common. Let's go up one, Portal Two. Uh, Portal Two maps, and what I need to do is I click Date Modified, and then the latest one that I've been working on is the tutorial map, and then just open, and then that's ready to upload. And then you just click I accept, and then publish. And as you can see, that is now uploaded into the Steam Workshop. So if you go to Steam and go to My Workshop and just click it, you can now change the change stuff. So I'm going to make this private hidden because it's just a test to, sh to show you that it was, a, you know, how to upload. And this is where you can edit the title and description. 
because you get a lot more space and you can you, you know you've got basically I think it, I don't know how if it's unlimited space <laughs> in the description but you've got a lot more than what you do have in the publisher tool so that's that and then you can also add images and videos to it so if you've done a playthrough video you can attach it and it'll be on your main page and, and it'll be, there'll be like a little taskbar under here under this main image and with like a video and other pictures if you've added extra pictures and so on and so forth and then you can also add and remove other contributors so other people that maybe helped you with the map so you can just click add and click the name of the person that helped you and invite them to be a contributor to your map so it's pretty straightforward so I hope that little tutorial helped you out and good luck making your maps and if you have any ideas and for any other future videos that you want me to do just comment and let me know in the comment section and please subscribe and share thanks very much